All right, it's time for another Coffee with Quarto. And right now I am in this file where I wrote down what I want to show you today. So this is just a normal Quarto document in NeoVim. We press leader QP to open the preview because I have already enabled the Kickstarter configuration. Okay, so we got a, a preview. And the first thing I want to be showing you is latex symbols. And this whole episode is focused a bit more on scientific writing in Quarto and NeoVim. So we start a mathematical equation using dollar. And then in here we can write latex mass expressions, like for example, alpha. And you see we get code completion for this provided by a plugin. Now the difference here is if I select this now and hit uh, just keep typing, it will just insert it here. I can save the file and we get it in here. And right now it just renders the dollars because uh, the dollar is expected to be right next to whatever is finishing the math equation. So one dollar for inline equations and dollar dollar. And I think we have a, I think we have a snippet for this configured. this no it's a line i don't know i need to check out if we have a snippet for this might be if we don't we should probably add a snippet for for inline mathematical equations so in here we can uh, write more more math um, and the the fun thing is also using the completion here well there's a bunch of mathematical stuff here like for example, uh, let's go for beta. If we don't keep typing, instead we hit enter, it will insert this in here using, uh, if our, our font supports this, it will be displayed directly. And this is a bit different. Um, this here will be rendered in our browser using MathJax by Quarto. And this here is the actual Unicode character. So if you are in an environment where you don't have uh, access to math rendering or LaTeX, you can use Unicode characters. But this is not a like a feature of Quarto, it's just Unicode stuff. Um, and this is where we get the code completion for. And it can be quite handy. So if you don't want the Unicode character, you hit uh, enter. If you only want the expression, so that then you can use this in a math environment, then you hit just spacebar. All right, um, there's a couple of things uh, in Quarto and Vim Kickstarter, which I haven't enabled by default, because uh, things like um, the Git integration can sometimes take longer to load if you have a very large repository. So I didn't enable it by default. Let's just open uh, NVim without anything. And then we hit S for settings. Now we're in our settings folder. And let's hit leader FF, so spacebar FF to find the Git folder. And here we have, for example, the new Git extension. Let's hit GC to toggle this comment here. If we save this now, the lazy plugin manager will tell us that, yeah, we updated our config. So if we hit uh, leader VL, it tells us, okay, we configured NeoGit, but we haven't installed it. We just hit capital I, or we could have just closed it and opened it again. It would have installed it automatically. Now NeoGit is installed. And if we now close it again, uh, and go into a Git repository, right now this is not a Git repository. So let's make it one, git init. And let's open up NeoVim in here. And let's press leader GG for NeoGit. And this opens up NeoGit. And we can add some files here. Um, it, it gives us a warning that we don't currently have any commits on the main branch. Makes sense. We have staged our changes using S. Let's hit CC to commit. Uh, let's call it initial commit. Save and quit using uh, colon X. Here yeah. and we got it. We can push and pull using capital P and uh, lowercase p, but right now we don't need this. We just press Q to close it. 
So this was the Git integration as an example of configuring optional parts of the Quarto NeoVim extension. Or rather, the Quarto and Vim Kickstarter, not the extension. The extension only provides for Quarto stuff. All right. Um, <clears throat> now, in scientific writing, we of course want to have references. So let's go into our YAML header. We start typing bib and we get a snippet which automatically inserts this references.bib file. Right now, we do not have a references.bib file. So let's create one. We could just manually create it and copy and paste stuff in it. As an example, uh, we can use the citation line here, the bib tag line from the Quarto GitHub repository, or we can use Sotero. Um, Sotero is a great, great open source plugin manager. You can download it on sotero.org. Uh, it's also integrated in our studio, so it makes sense that we can use it in NeoVim here as well. Let's uh, go to the Quarto NeoVim uh, CLI GitHub repository. And I have also installed the Sotero uh, browser extension, so I can just press this here. It will automatically insert this into my Sotero library. Let's pull this over here. This is my Sotero library. Um, I just created a folder for just this Quarto demo. And what I want to do now is I want to export this collection using the better bib tag extension, which you have to install separately. You just Google or DuckDuckGo for Zotero better bib tag. And then let's save it here and let's call it uh, just like we called it in the YAML file, references.bib. All right, all good to go. Now we have some references. And this means if we start typing, uh, hello, uh, look at, and then at symbol for references, we get a completion for this reference. And we hover over it and we get more information about it using tab. So we accept this, save and start our preview again. And we have our beautiful reference here. Now, Bibliography uh, are not the only things you can reference. We can also reference headings and other things. So for this, let's insert an image and cross-reference it. Well, how do you get an image into NeoVim? Um, one way is using an extension which we include in the Quarto and Wing Kickstarter, which allows us to just paste in images. So let's get an image. I have an image of the Wikipedia page for cats here. We copy the image, perfect and hit colon paste image. And it automatically creates this image folder here and inserts the link to this image. Now, if we use instead the figure shortcut or figure snippet, we see what other options we have. We can give it a caption. So caption would just be a cat, I guess. Then there's the link to the file, and then we need to give the reference. So this would be curly braces, hashtag, big minus cat, I guess. And now we get into talking about upcoming features, because right now, if I now want to reference this figure, um, it works because I changed something already in the Kickstarter configuration, which, wait a second, did I already change that? Um, let's check it out. So let's open just Envim here, S for config. And now we go into the completion plugins. Oh yeah, okay. And I think I didn't mean to already push this. Um, but I was using a very cool plugin to provide uh, completions for Pandoc references. However, unfortunately, this uh, was just using Pandoc syntax. So it would search for an identifier like figure colon and then the name of the figure. But Quarto uses a minus sign there instead. And also it can only find a bibliography 
Um, if it is defined in the YAML file, it couldn't uh, in the YAML header in the actual file. It couldn't find a bibliography if it is defined in a Quarto uh, project. So I added this to a fork of this and then made pull requests. Um, so this will eventually find its way into this plugin. Um, and for now, just to demonstrate this, I added my fork here to install. And we can go back to the plugin, see how this works. So now we can use a minus here, or if we use the old syntax for normal Pondoc, we also get completions here. Um, however, we may not even end up needing this plugin in the long run because the Quarto people are working on a language server for Quarto, which will give us exactly these kinds of completions for um, references and for bibliography items. And also, and this is what I'm quite excited for because we have it in our studio, but I don't have it in NeoVim currently, is completion for these YAML options. Like here, it would suggest that we could use format, for example, but this is not currently there. Um, but once the language server is, is there, um, which is being developed in this uh, repository, um, I will be excited to include it in the configuration as well. All right, that's it for now, and I'll see you in the next one.